Hi, this is Frank Hefner here with Technique Peak. Next, we will assess the length of the subscapularis muscle. So we'll have the patient's arm close to their body. You know, it's really ideally it should be at zero degrees of abduction. And then we're going to look at external rotation. You know, restricted motion in, in this degree of abduction is indicative of restrictions of the subscapularis muscle. To treat that, what we can do is kind of slightly abduct the patient's arm, and then I'm taking my hand and I'm going to kind of follow along the uh, the rib cage and trying to get in between the rib cage and the anterior aspect of the scapula where the subscapularis is, and then in, in that spot in there, as I kind of follow the thoracic cage to that anterior portion of the scapula where the subscapularis is, and then there I can kind of utilize some raking techniques, again, assessing for any trigger points in the muscle, trying to get that muscle to release and lengthen. Those are typically some effective techniques in there. And then I can, once once done, bring that arm back to zero degrees of abduction and assess external rotation to see if there's been any change. 